So I am in Sanua this morning, just having a walk on the beach, the morning walk. Bringing uh, Lucy, my dog, for a run. Just check out this view. You get beautiful sunrises here at Sanua. If you can get up before six o'clock in the morning and come anywhere down here, I'm a little bit late at the moment, but it gets really red. What a beautiful place this is. It's like all five-star resorts, like this, all the way along for about three kilometres. And, uh, yeah, it's fairly well priced, like for $150 a night. You can get somewhere right on the beach here. So, anyway, we'll just go for a walk up the footpath and uh, see what we can find. As you can see, it's low tide here at the moment. At low tide, you can more or less walk to the reef. It's about 800 metres out there, seven or 800 metres. But at high tide, it's probably only a couple of metres deep, so it's really good and uh, to swim here. So it's not, you know, it's pretty safe for kids and that to swim out here. There's no waves and there's not really that big a current, so. It's a very good family beach now. In between all the beaches, we've got little break walls like this, little rock break walls all the way up that separate all the different beaches. And uh, there's just beautiful little beaches over here, everywhere. We'll just go for a walk up here. Now, all the way along here, it's very early in the morning now. It's only like six o'clock in the morning, but once it gets open, by about nine o'clock in the morning, there's bicycle rental you can ride all the way up to the marina and all the way along here there's things like the water sports so you can see you can rent jet skis canoes glass bottom boats wakeboarding you know donut boat banana boat sailing stand up paddle boards all the way along here you'll find that and you can rent them and uh yeah bicycles are very cheap it's only like about thirty thousand for an hour i think like three dollars for an hour to rent a bicycle so anyway we'll head up here and see what's going on there's a break wall here rock wall there's one about 150 meters up there and they separate all these little beaches this beach is called Semoing beach and a lot of people on the sit on the break walls of the morning to film the, the sunrise we're a little bit late for the sunrise it might get a bit more red but uh, we'll see so as you can see these are all little like spots to get massages and little shops that sell clothes and food and things like that of a day and during COVID they built all this new footpath all through here and there used to be like little restaurants and that all the way along the beach they knocked them all down and built this footpath and uh, built all these little warungs in the middle so as you can see they've got the tables set up out here now which is nice the umbrellas you can sit here of an afternoon a lot of people come here for sunset and these are all like little food warungs they'll all be open in a couple of hours time it's very relaxing out here here's my dog How you doing lucy so we'll just go down to the water you have a look and this is absolutely great place just to hang out of an afternoon have a couple of drinks and uh, yeah maybe have a swim so this is Semoing Beach. They really have done a good job of um, fixing this up. This was all little warungs, like little restaurants all the way along the beach. A lot of people were sort of angry when they knocked them all down because they were good. But now with all the tables here, it's basically the same thing. You can sit here and the, in the, um, get a bit of air and uh, yeah, it's nice. This is a beach bar. This is actually new since last time I was out here. It's a big beach bar. Probably sells alcohol. Yeah, so it's more or less like this all the way along. It goes for about three kilometres, this new footpath. Um, yeah, so there's plenty of places to stop and plenty of little beaches. There's different beaches on every side of every break wall, so there's many, many beaches along here. And the thing is, there's no swell, there's no wave, so it makes it enjoyable. At high tide, it's just beautiful in here. It's, it's not so deep, so it's good to swim. You can snorkel and swim and uh, stand up paddleboard. And... 
So this is a new restaurant they've built here. It's got upstairs as well, you can sit upstairs. And it was built about a year and a half ago or something. So a lot of people come here and eat here. And sit here, especially in the afternoon, sunset. It's another break wall. So this here is one of the points where a lot of the boats leave from here and go to Noosa Panuta, the islands, to do diving. You can see them bringing all the dive bottles down, getting ready to bring the boats in. So a lot of these smaller boats, sort of like this one, the fast boats. They do trips to Noosa Lombong and Noosa Panuta. <laughs> Alright, we'll keep moving up here and uh, see what else we can find. You can see them bringing all their oxygen bottles for diving, ready to load up onto the boats. Wow, well, there's hundreds of them. So the fast boats will come in when the water's up a bit, pick up all of this, and then the daily tour will go to Nusa Panuta or Nusa Lombong and diving. They do day trips. Alright, so what's this? A little bakery. Very nice. I haven't been out here for about six months, so there's a lot of new stuff at the moment. I had my own boat and I just sold it about four or five months ago, six months ago, so, so I haven't been out here since. Thank you. Little warrongs. And there's another little break wall here. They're all the way along the break walls. And it separates the little beaches and uh, makes it nice actually, some of it is sit. There's actually two here. A little post on the end, a little post on this end where you can sit out there. And here's the next beach. I'm not quite sure the name of this beach. But it really is peaceful and beautiful out here. And it's, you know, you're away from the main road, you're away from all the traffic and uh, it really is a good place to stay if you want to stay somewhere, get a bit of peace and quiet. Well, Sanoa definitely is the place to come. Back down towards where I parked my motorbike. Maybe we'll go the other direction and have a look down at Murtasari Beach. It's a pretty famous beach. A lot of people go there. There's boats and that that go out to the to the reef surfing out you know, the back out there from Murtasari. So uh, yeah, we might jump on the bike and head down that way. Come on Lizzie. How are you doing Liz? Come on. Come on. My dog Lucy, she loves it out here, digging, digs up all the crabs. <laughs> yeah, Liz. So as you can see, these, all these people here on bicycles, they would have got them from the hotel they're staying at. And uh, hello. Hello. Good hey girls. Hello. Peace. Oh, there's a big group of them. Hello. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so you normally get bicycles from your resort. A lot of them let you just take them and use them. Some of them charge you, but it's only a couple of dollars an hour. It is very cheap. It's not so hot in the morning, so it's a nice area to do your exercise. Anyway, we'll head down towards Murtasari Beach. So this is a very popular area, we're walking back through here, Samoang Beach, all the little warongs where you get buy your food and drinks, and you can just see how many of them there is, There's, every one of these is a little restaurant, like a little warong, and these are all their menus, warong Jero, warong Godel, warong Muslim, halal food, hello warong, Warong Mimi, Warong Bunovi, Warong Nessa, Warong Futu Diblo, and Jackfish. Now, Jackfish actually used to be a restaurant just right here, a big restaurant. 
and they knocked that down during the COVID to build this new footpath and all the gardens through here. They sort of wanted to make Sinua better for a higher class of tourist, you know. So they made the new footpaths and built all the gardens along through here. So see these trees here, these are almond trees. They're yeah, actually coastal um, almonds. Beach, beach almonds. Yeah, they come from North Queensland. Yeah, they're everywhere in yeah, Australia. Yeah, yeah, in North Queensland. Yeah, yeah. but uh, they're everywhere over here too. Everywhere yeah. on a lot of the islands. Yeah, yeah so. our schools love them. A lot of people don't know what they are, but they're actually an almond. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They're um, a messy tree. I wouldn't want one in my backyard. So <laughs> you're living here, are you? Yes, off and on. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so, so come and go, come and go. Yes. Yeah. Right. How many times have you been to Bali? Many, many. Oh, now, yeah. Oh, not that many, I suppose about six or seven. Oh, eh? Yeah. So you like this area, Sanua? I do, it's nice and quiet. Yeah, it's good, no, isn't I don't it? Like okay, so we're on the bike now. We've got Lucy on the bike, me dog. And we're going to head down and check out Mersasari Beach. So when we get up here, I'll show you through town a little bit. Okay. Morning. The locals are really friendly out here, it's really nice. It's not so high pressure like in Kuta where they're hassling you to buy stuff all the time, you know, and really making your holiday miserable by harassing you but on the beach, but here they might ask you what are you doing? Oi! Get <laughs> Just bit Lucy on the tail. Oh, they bite you on the tail, Lucy. <laughs> you see all these big big five-star resorts all the way along here. So we'll cruise along the beach down to Murtisari and have a look. You see this little roads all the way along here that head down to the beach. So this is the Makua Hotel. The Makua chain is all over the world, Makua Hotels. It's right on the beach. It's fairly well priced too actually. So a lot of these are like villas you can rent, hotels. Okay, so down here we head down to Murtasari Beach. Alright, so you gotta stop here, the barge up charges you to go out. Thank you, Pat. Here. All right, so it's like two thousand. It's about two thousand, like twenty cents. This is a new resort they're building in here. I wonder if, wonder what the progress is. Well, they've blocked that off through there now. Wow, oh, yeah. used to be able to get all through there. So this is very popular with the Japanese, they all love coming out here and getting a boat out to the reef and going surfing and that, so as you can see most of them will be Japanese, for some reason they all love it here, surf schools and stuff. Alright so this is Murtasari Beach. And over here, the land you can see over there is Sarangan, Turtle Island. Alright, so we'll move up the other end of the beach here and I'll show you. Hey bro. Okay. So this area here is where they have the big kite festivals. Normally, every year there's the kite festivals, they're really big, big, big on kites in Indonesia, so They've got chains up up here and they never used to have chains So we'll go up and see if we can get past the chains so you See they've got it chained off there and you can't ride in anymore, but we'll 
snake up the footpath <laughs> like everyone else does. Okay, and they've got all the car parks chained off. It's very strange. Anyway, you see there's little restaurants and warongs along here on the other side there all the way along. What this big hole here full of water, they actually dug all the sand out and used it for um, construction and that and, and filling in some of the beaches that were eroding away and it's created like a little pond now. <laughs> now over here we have the, let's get off and walk over, an island. You see there's a little bridge here going across. And this is a little island with some little bungalows and that you can see over here you can rent and stay and i'm not sure whether they've still got them they used to have camel rides and that up here so it's only a little tiny island and it's private but you can go over i think you can pay of a day to walk across to the bridge and then hang out on the beach over here so all the big boats and that across here in the land over there that's um Sarangan, turtle island See, this is the main parking area for all the smaller boats. Now this jetty here, this big wharf that goes right out to this big boat out on the end out here, that was built by, or sort of funded by, oh no, like one of the kings of Saudi or something like that, or Dubai or something, <laughs> actually funded to build that. And they've got their giant, big giant super yacht that comes and parks at the end. It isn't that one, it's a big white one, but I don't know what that one's for. It's actually a petrol dock out on the end and that as well. We can get petrol for the big boats. Hi Park. So check this out. People bring their dogs to swim down in the lake and these guys have got their birds with them. Look like macaws or whatever. Beautiful looking birds. They must come here to exercise them and train them to fly around. Wow, they're big birds. <laughs> Hello, mate. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're a big, beautiful bird. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Scared him, yeah. So I hope you liked this video of uh, Murtasari Beach and Semoang Beach at Sanua. And if you do, leave it in the comments if you like this style of just walking around video on that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and all that. And hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.